I supported the Mueller report because I saw that Trump did something wrong with Sarah Huckabee Sanders committing two counts of perjury. I supported the Ukraine incre- of the Ukraine impeachment because I saw that the you know I seen, I heard, and I understood that Trump, the Republican Party, and the Attorney General lied to me about Ukraine. Yes, Trump had a valid reason to want to halt the aid, but what I don't support is this impeachment because it's unconstitutional. I know a lot of the people on the left are going to say, oh, because of the rights. Well, what about Portland? That was for months and months. And it took Trump deputizing the sheriffs for people not to be just let go or for the Biden and Harris to just pay their bail for just for them to do it again. I'm not creating an excuse for the D.C. riots because that shouldn't have happened. But it's not Trump's fault either. He didn't say riot. He didn't say storm the Capitol. He wanted people to cheer for him. People were heading to the Capitol building before his rally was over. But the media won't say that. The media won't show that. And Facebook and these big techs, tech, they're not gonna they're not gonna say, oh, he did this, but this isn't wrong. Blah blah this, blah blah that. Well, there would have there should have been more police, but the request for additional police was denied several times because the mayor didn't want a larger police presence presence. Hello, they're counting in there. They're counting in the Capitol building. Our politicians are in there. They need to be protected regardless of their political affiliation. Their safety is important for our country. Who who cares about the police or what you think, think about them? They're there to serve and protect. And, th- and not only that, Nancy Pelosi tried to get the Pentagon to, to, uh, to reject, deny, or whatever any any command that, that Trump may have had on the military or, to, or deploying the National Guard. What if he had to? What if he would have had to deploy the National Guard to protect our congressmen and women, to protect Nancy Pelosi, to protect Alexi, Alexi Ocasio-Cortez? And what if they had listened to her? The Democrats did this to themselves. It's not Trump's fault. One, I am not a supporter, all right? Don't mistake me for those crazy people. Not everyone who voted for him support him. They just seen him as a better option than what was presented with the Democrats and and the other parties. That's it. You know, that's it. But here's the thing. People don't care. People just don't care. If If it's not their way, the highway, then they don't care. But here's the thing. This is America. We're allowed to think the way we are. We're allowed to speak the way we are. We're allowed to be who we are because of our freedoms. That is what's at stake here. Our freedoms. Parlor's gone because big tech complained about it and then Amazon broke their contract and cut them off. You know, canceled their services. Parlor may never come back. Gab, they're calling for a criminal investigation for some BS reason. You know, why is Twitter allowed to have racism by the left and not do anything about it? I'm not justifying racism at all. It's just the fact that it flourishes there. Inappropriate images of minors flourish there. A lot of things that shouldn't flourish, be accepted, or tolerated on Twitter is allowed. And yet anyone with a conservative thought, independent thought, or anything that goes against the Democratic Party is suddenly not allowed. That's why I'm defending the president on this one. I don't trust Biden. No, actually, I didn't trust Trump either, but that's that's besides the point. But his impe- this impeachment is unconstitutional. What the Democrats are doing is unconstitutional. They didn't even follow the Constitution during the entire cycle of what caused this. I can't say the word I want to say because then I couldn't promote the video because of the censorship, the suppression, and everything that goes on with Google. It's hard to make a name for yourself as it is. If you're not the top 1%, you're, you're screwed. If you're not the top oh, on the algorithm, you're screwed. But that's not the point of this video either. It's that Trump is not responsible for the riots. There are several factors that come into place that show it. All right? He, his back was against the wall. That was, his, that was the one chance he had to win, or at least rally to win, and Pence caved. 
Republicans said, you know, we don't we don't agree with this at all because we're being lied because they don't realize they're being lied to. Yeah, the American people are being played because the only information they're given is what's allowed by the Democratic Party, which controls the media, which controls social media. I don't know about social media, but you know they got a lot of power that's well, not good anyway. I, we don't have the First Amendment. I know that's off topic, a lot off topic. But when we can't even talk about certain subjects, or, you know, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to say, I'm going to, I am not a Trump supporter, but his impeachment is unconstitutional because the Constitution was not upheld for the reason why he was being impeached to begin with. Like, he wouldn't have held a rally if certain things had been done, if the constitutional process of what he, he held that rally was for was being upheld. I can't say a lot of things because YouTube is censoring people. Google is censoring people. Big tech. They're dangerous. They're dangerous for this country. Again, Trump's impeachment is unconstitutional. What the Democrats are doing is wrong because the rules are for thee and not for me. Me being the Democrats and the rules are for everybody else. Goodbye.